This was February 18 this year as members of the country's executive rolled up their sleeves to receive the first of their two AstraZeneca doses. Over six months after their second dose, they have received booster shots. The most important thing that has happened within the cabinet is that each cabinet member received his booster shot or her booster shot uh, on Wednesday. Uh, that delayed cabinet uh, by a few hours, but it, it nevertheless um, was very important. Meanwhile, the rollout of the booster doses continues in earnest. The aim is to ensure targeted groups receive optimal protection against the coronavirus and its constellation of mutations. So first responders, as well as um, the frontline uh, group of workers, nurses, doctors, and so on, and uh, pa parliamentarians will continue uh, today. And then um, uh, next week, they're, they're going to be very selective, beginning with those people who have or are taking immunosuppressant drugs. So they have an immune system that is compromised. Ambassador Hurst is also using the opportunity to encourage individuals who are yet to receive their first dose to avail themselves at the earliest. We want everyone uh, to be safe. And uh, there are still 15,000 holdouts. We expect... Uh, that they will uh, join uh, the uh, 65,000 or so who have taken the, uh, the, the shots uh, so far and to make Antigua and Barbuda thereby a safer place for our visitors as well as those who reside here permanently. Vaccination and especially booster shots have been dominating the headlines around the world since the emergence of the heavily mutated variant Omicron. An analysis based on limited data in the United Kingdom shows a dramatic drop in effectiveness for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and a significant drop off for two doses of Pfizer in the wake of Omicron. However, booster shots prevent symptoms in three quarters of people who contracted the new variant, although this protection from boosters is not as high as against the earlier variants. And with Omicron dominating the narrative, cabinet ministers are to discuss to lift or not to lift the state of emergency when they meet next week.